Yo, what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back uh, to another One Piece Bounty Rush video So today just a simple showcase on how I use my Oden in tons of treasure And the reason why I use Oden is because uh, Number one, you know, I just want to make my life so much easier Because the grind is crazy, it's tough uh, You have to fight against opponent who uses EXs as well they use Akainu, they use uh, Roger, and obviously they use Oden as well. They use Yamato, and then uh, not only that, it's a it's a battle within your own team as well. Like when you have auto clickers as your allies, they suck, they pull the team down, and because of that, you have all the disadvantage. And usually, if the opposing team have more real players, chances are you know you are going to lose the match. So. Yeah, that's why I use Oden and I want to share with you the build, the medals, the medal build that I think uh, is important. Uh, actually, not medal build, but medal trade. Yeah, medal trade that uh, I think it's really helpful for me and I believe it's really helpful for you guys if you apply it as well. So, um, the medal set that I use is actually Zoro Trio set where it kind of focuses on skill 1 cooldown reduction yeah so um, it's got like uh, as it is it's got 14% uh, skill 1 cooldown reduction speed but with its unique trait when an ally from your team is killed reduce the cooldown time on skill 1 by 4% which is amazing and Pirate Hunter Medal, when your team loses a treasure, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 8%. So, this unique trait is really good, especially in terms of treasure because there are a lot of flags and obviously the opposing team will, you know, keep on continuing and steal flags because that is the, the purpose. Like, you want to get as much flags as possible so that you can get higher score. And the more that happens, the faster it is that you get your skill 1 cooldown um, reduction time. And not only that, Oden alone in his trade already have skill 1 cooldown uh, time reduction by 20% when he captured the treasure. So, which is really good. So, in terms of treasure, if you use Oden, when you capture treasure, you got skill, skill 1 cooldown time reduction. And when you lose a treasure, when the opponent steal or capture a treasure, right? You will also gain skill 1 cooldown reduction and the reason why skill 1 is really important in TOT um, is because Oden's skill 1 right helps him to move faster so uh, obviously when you can move faster you can get to the flag easier faster as well obviously especially the two big flags yeah like you want to get to the big flag first you, you don't want your ally to capture it because you want that point yeah so whenever you see it empty it you gotta use your skill 1 so that you can quickly get to it Not only that, you can actually use your skill 1 to run away from opponents like Akainu, like Roger Or even Oden himself So, uh, all in all, skill 1 is really amazing to have in TOT So, and not only for Oden, you can actually apply, you can actually use the medal set for uh, Kaku if I'm not mistaken So let me just... Okay, there you go. So if you have Kaku, Kaku skill one also helps him to move faster. Yeah, and yeah, if you use the Zoro trio set, it's gonna help him as well. So basically, any, not any, but the character uh, needs to have his skill one that that helps him to dash forward. Uh, then only it can he or she. Okay, he or she can utilize Zoro trio set. I think another one that he, that moves uh, faster with his skill one is actually Kobe. Let me double check. Yep, I have to fight or I'll never change. So skill one helps him move faster and it's a long range charge attack as well. So you can use the Zoro Trio set for Kobe as well if you want to. So there you go. Three different elements, green or then blue Kobe and also red. You can use the medal for Kaku. Which I think these guys are amazing runners for you to use in TOT. But, you know, I just, I'm, I'm just going to straight away and use the best, which is Oden. So, enough said. Let's get into the gameplay, shall we? Alright, so, first match, we have two Odens, Kaku, we have Big Mom. So I'm just, you know, pointing up the runners because, well, that is the opponent that you have to watch out for, yeah? Uh, especially Oden, because Oden is a, you know, obviously we all know that Oden is a really good runner. Uh, personally, I find him better than Yamato, but to each their own. So I always start with using my skill one and try to get the big flag, even though looking at my 
allies I should be the first one to get to it but well like I said since I, I can afford to um, use my skin one frequently because I can easily get it back and as you can see boom I already like have it back and um, Thank God uh, that Roger kind of helped me use my skill one again and get to H flag ASAP. So this is why I mentioned to you that skill one is really important in, uh, in, in TOT because other than uh, fighting the opponent, killing the opponent, you use it to move faster, to reach to other flags quicker so that you can uh, capture more flag because time is of the essence here. The faster you move, the easier it is or the um, Quicker, quicker it is you can get to the other flag and also um, capture it so please forgive the um, baby back background sound because my um, second daughter is just right beside me so she's um, one year one year she just turned to one yeah uh, this February so <laughs> and uh, she's uh, actually uh, COVID positive as well so she is in quarantine together with me uh, and yeah like I said that's why it's really hard for me to do commentary because uh, I have to take care of the baby and you know while doing the commentary having those sounds is um, uh, quite disturbing but well I guess <laughs> it can't be helped since you guys uh, want me to do commentary so um, I mean I hope you don't mind the um, the background sound but uh okay nonetheless let's get back to the match uh, shall we uh so yeah i mean uh, honestly kot what's fun about it is you know you get to capture flags a lot and uh single tech opponent if they don't die if they don't die for me i just move on to capture other flag like, i don't stay to fight unless unless if i'm fighting uh, opponent for the big flag but then again that depends as well if i see that you know if let's say i'm at the opponent's uh big flag yeah uh, near the spawn area um, and i see that there are you know, uh, two to three uh, opponents nearby i usually don't yeah engage in fight i usually just run away and capture other flag because that is what is important isn't it and um but yeah, it depends if it's only like one single opponent and I see that I can beat them, especially if they are not uh, Roger or, or a Kainu. Yeah, I usually stay, fight, try to kill them and capture the flag. But that's it. Thank God one of our allies actually captured that final flag needed to win the match. And um, I'm the MVP. So GG's. Let's see how many flags do I have. 21 flags captured and 4 kills so that in total gives me 24k there you go so if you like capture big treasure uh you kind of like yeah get higher score honestly it gives you more points compared to if you solely focus on these smaller flags and um all right let's let's continue so um as usual all right skill one boom uh, get to the uh, F flag ASAP. Uh, I mean, honestly, even though if I mean, I, I would like to first apologize if I have defender in my team or attacker in my team, I don't care. I will go for the mid flag and capture it because that is what TOT is all about. It's about flag capturing. Yeah, and even though I do acknowledge the importance of defender, but trust me. Their role is not as huge as runners in this challenge battle. Like, I do appreciate it that you choose defender and you want to defend the mid flag. But, if I am if I can get to, to it first, I'll capture it. Why? Because it gives me more points. Yeah? And, um, yeah, it gives me more points and um, uh, it's all about grinding um, more scores here. So... Uh, I think it's justified that uh, even though I we do have defenders, but um, a, as long as you can get to it first, I think by all means you are allowed to capture it. So, all right. So Yamato here. This Yamato is good. I was waiting for her counter. Honestly, she doesn't use it. She she's anticipating for my attack as well. She's trying to read me as well before actually i think yeah before using her counter i guess and um 
But uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, it, it, it's you know, both of us are actually eyeing for each other. Like, you know, when I capture the meat flag, she uh, doesn't attack me. But, you know, when I leave it, she might jump down again and capture the meat flag. But I, I won't let it. Uh, I won't let her slide. So I just use my skill one and knock back her, which is so funny uh, to see her, you know, fly. But she's back, she's here, and I use my skill to. Oh my god, what a good, perfect dodge. Uh, use my skill one, but I'm pretty sure I missed that as well. Um, and well, I move on. Like I said, like once I'm out of like both skills, no point staying and fighting. Like if there are flags to capture, go ahead and capture more flags. But thank god here, the, um, the mid flag, which is the big flag, the, the three score flag is always available for me to capture um i mean we don't exactly use japanese agreement here i mean we we were definitely eyeing for the right time to attack each other but yeah kind of like honestly i think this yamato is a good player as well uh, similar to me he he or she knows when to attack when to retreat when to capture flag so you you gotta prior prioritize what is important and thank god right now just you know right before the match ends i'm able to get my hands on the um big flag and that's it we won the match with 10 flags captured so that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you so so much for watching i hope today's tips you know simple tips helps for you to grind tot uh today and also in the future and uh please like the video subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next one take care have a really good day guys ciao